Warning! This video intentionally depicts violation of model rocketry best practices in order to illustrate why we practice them. Do not imitate what you are about to see. All right, space cadet, you've built your egg lofting rocket. You're pretty sure it's going to get to 825 feet and land in 48 to 50 seconds, no more or less, and now it's time to fly. Your hard work and meticulous, methodical attention to detail has paid off, so take it easy on launch day. Do not sweat any details, record any data, or adhere to any consistent procedure. Just have a good time and fly. Checklists and data sheets are for losers. You'll remember all the important stuff, right? Right? Okay, how did things go yesterday? Did the rocket fly, did it fly too high straight too up? Low? Or at did an it angle? fall too fast? Or did, or did it, it take spin? too long? What or was about it just that one right? time when did the parachute the didn't survive properly? It started to or when get the altimeter did it Did that make on? a difference? Wasn't somebody what supposed to take care of that? the rocket have when on the fins had to be replaced? When was what that are we going to do the same next time? What mass should we make the rocket so that it gets to the right altitude? design a new rocket? How do we make sure everything gets done properly? How do we know what happened? We write it down. Aerospace engineers and successful rocket contest teams use checklists and launch procedures to make sure that each rocket is prepared properly and in the same way for every flight. That way, we make sure that our flights are consistent and reliable and don't have to worry about forgetting things. Aerospace engineers also use data sheets to record important information about every flight. That way, we get all the information we need to understand what happened and what needs to be changed going forward. Rocket contests and all engineering endeavors reward the methodical and attentive and punish the hasty.